Namaste. Yesterday somebody asked, what is love? And the answer you will find in this podcast. I have talked briefly about the ordinary love and the spiritual love. Ordinary love can fade away. Spiritual love never fades away. That is why the master says that once I hold you, I will never leave you. That's spiritual love. But ordinary love, there are so many love stories. And you know what happens in the end. That's ordinary love. Spiritual love is something else. Spiritual love is selfless. And so in this podcast, I have also shared a beautiful story of two friends. And there are many more deep insights in this podcast. This podcast is only for my close followers. As I always say, Astrology is just a small part of the huge cosmos that is spirituality. Astrology is a part of spirituality. Astrology is not God. God is beyond astrology. God is above astrology. But that you can understand only if you are aware or if you have experienced the spiritual love. And so let's begin with this podcast. In Sufism, there is a beautiful word for love and it is called Ishq. Ishq is a Sufi word and Sufism is the path of love, spiritual love. Sufism is the way of transforming human consciousness into Ishq, love. Ishq is the higher form of love. Something superb, something beyond the reams of human mind, something that blossoms and grows within the depth of your heart. It is in the heart that the seeds of love, Ishq, blossoms. When there is love in your heart, only love will come out. A small atom can explode into tremendous power. Similarly, each cell of your heart can explode into tremendous love. And that love, the love that comes from the deepest center of your heart, is Ishq. It is beautiful. It is pure bliss. Don't confuse ordinary love, that is Mohabbat, with spiritual love, which is Ishq. In Sufism, Ordinary love is called Mohabbat. Mohabbat is the so-called ordinary love, which is just an emotion, a sentiment. Ordinary love is superficial. It is more of the mind and less of the heart. Ordinary love is changeable because the nature of the mind is to change. Ordinary love can dissolve because it is just a sentiment. You like someone today, tomorrow you may not. One day you love the person, you are ready to die for that person and another day you are ready to kill the same person. That is how relationships break when they are formed on the basis of like or ordinary love and not spiritual love. The mind is elusive, mind is a make-believe 
Your mind creates an illusion of love when in reality it is just a like and this is significant. You have to overcome your mind. It is only when you overcome your mind that you could listen to the voice within your heart. And the heart is always right. The heart is always right. If there is a question of choosing between the mind and the heart, the heart is always right. Because the mind is a creation of the society. The mind is a creation of the society. It has been educated. It has been given to you by the society, not by existence. The heart is unpolluted. It is pure existence. Hence, it has a sensitivity. Ishq is the matter of the heart and not of the mind. The mind likes, the heart loves. Understand the difference. A Sufi saint says, Log mohabbat mein sharabi bante hai. Mujhe tere ishq ne namazi bana diya. How beautiful is this? It means people become drunkards in ordinary love, mohabbat. But spiritual love, ishq, has transformed me into a prayerful man. Mind is elusive. It can make you believe that what you like is love. And that is how you are trapped. You fall in a relationship believing that it is love. But in reality, it is just a like. And it takes no time for a like to change into a dislike. One moment you are nice to the person you love. And the other moment you are nasty. That is not love. That is not Ishq. Ishq or love has immense depth. Ishq is a spiritual love. It is beyond the realms of ordinary physical love. It is Ishq or spiritual love that brings immense confidence, courage and strength to surrender, to sacrifice, to do the unimaginable. Something superb, something beyond the limits of the mind. Like or the ordinary love is on the surface. Love is beyond the circumference. Ishq or a true love is mad. It is crazy. It is selfless and it is ready to sacrifice. And such a love, such a selfless love is only experienced when you are willing to die for each other. When there is no demand, no condition, no fear, no selfishness, but just love flowing. True love is happy when it is able to give something. Always remember, true love is selfless. It is prepared to sacrifice. During the Second World War, there were two great friends who were soldiers. These two soldiers were very friendly. One evening, one soldier came back to the trench but found that his friend had not returned. Many people had been killed on the front. He was afraid. Was his friend killed too? He inquired. And then somebody said, We are not certain that he is killed. But he was so terribly wounded that it was impossible for him to come back to the trench. By now, he must be dead. It was getting dark and the enemy was still firing madly. But the soldier wanted to go and search for his friend. His commanding officer said, No, this is foolishness. But he didn't listen to him and he went to search for his friend. It was very difficult to search in the dark and there were thousands of dead bodies all around. He looked and he looked and he looked everywhere and in the middle of the night he returned back dragging his friend's dead body on his back. He himself was terribly wounded and he was bleeding. He too was dying. The moment he reached the trench, he fell on the floor with the body of his dead friend. The officer came and said, I told you not to be foolish. 
it was not worth it now you know what you have done to yourself the friend is dead and you are dying the dying man opened his eyes he was in the pool of his blood too many injuries were on his body and in that utter pain he said but it was worth it because when i went there he looked at me and said jim i knew you would come this is love this is ishq this is the essence of a true friend friendship is the highest form of love you think you have many friends but in reality there are only one or two with whom you resonate with whom the depth of understanding has gone beyond the reams of the mind where verbal words have stopped and the voice of the heart has connected where communication happens in deep silence no words no noise pure silence truth is found only when you are breathing in silence deep silence until the mind stops talking the soul won't start speaking and the truth the solution to all your problems and miseries is found not by the mind but by your soul by yourself albert einstein says i think 99 times and i find nothing i stop thinking swim in silence and truth comes before me what a beautiful quote from a beautiful man a great scientist albert einstein and so let there be more silence in your life let there be more peace in your life it is only in silence that you can come face to face with truth meditate jai shri ganesha jai guru ओम गम गणपत नम ओम गम गणपत नम ओम गम गणपत नम